Two. <clears throat> Easy. Bear blow. Be here all day. One. Two. Yeah. <clears throat> Beautiful. Find Beautiful, man. Welcome onto the show, sir. Ooh. It's a pleasure Let's to go. have you. Thank you guys for having me. What did we just hear there? Well, America would call it a slap. <laughs> South Africa would call it a peak. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Exact Danny, wording, I appreciate but it. we know what you're talking about. I appreciate it. So Danny the Pitbull Van Heerden is a man that has gone viral, as mentioned, on various platforms because of his prominent rise, currently holding the number four position uh, in the super heavyweight division of Power Slap globally, a sport that is owned by Dana White. I know that you were no stranger to fighting, everything from bare knuckle boxing to Muay Thai. Maybe you can paint that picture for us. And then also I know that this sport found you at a time in life when it, it really sounds like it needed to. Well, going back, I turned professional in the mixed martial arts back in 2009. I then competed at EFC and XFC and a bunch of other MMA promotions. But then I turned pro, well, I got the heavyweight title 2016 in the EFC. From there, I moved over to boxing, got my boxing license. I fought my way up to number five on the SA ranks. From there, I got my Muay Thai license. I'm still undefeated there. Got my bare knuckle boxing license, which due to COVID never happened. Um, I think that's, oh wait, I got my All Stars Fight League license. So I don't okay. know if you remember back in the day when they had UF, uh, USA versus Africa right. on the martial arts. So yes. I was one of that contestants. Uh, and I actually fought a guy, Reines Pavoas. He was the Lavita World Champion. I choked him out one minute, 20 seconds, round one. Sheesh, yeah, you look like you could. Obviously. <laughs> well, well, there was fighting fit. Now this is relaxed bustle. And now with Power Slap 2023, I got chosen in October. And we are where we are today. And it's done a lot for you personally, I believe, as well. You suffered a fair amount of trauma. Your, your father had passed. Maybe you can tell us more about that. And, and I know you personally, because you have been open about this, you, you battled with mental health quite significantly around that time, as, as anybody would. Yes, true. Well, we actually grow, grew up as, you know what, mental health is a joke. So we, my father would have fought Pia Kutsu 1981 for the SA title. So we got raised to be tough. Right. You know what? So, so um, mental health was an excuse because we never believed in it. We believe, you know what, it's an excuse because that's why you don't want to do anything because anything is achievable. But then my father got murdered 2018. Jeez. I still not believed it because, you know what, my dad was, he was a legend. He was a, he was a tough guy. Invincible, he was, right? He was invincible. You got a status, you got a bit of money, you got fame, and not even that can bring him back. Mentally, I went through a dip. I thought about, you know, what? it's uh, no one cares. You, you're you not going to make anything of your life. Um, somehow, some reason, the day I wanted to commit suicide, for some reason, this this never happened in my life. I remember driving down from Artis to the Vol. I hit bumper to bumper traffic from five p.m. I got home 11 p.m. at night. That never happened. The next day when I woke up, I still up to today cannot believe what a change. But from there to where I am now, I got my K1 license, Muay license, etc. etc. Now the Power Slab license. But from there where I am now, life has changed times five, if Sheesh. I can say it that way. Good. Good. And you can see it in your in your face when you speak to me and I know you're listening to this on the radio I'm sure you can hear it in Donnie's voice as well there's a tremendous sincerity behind this man and I think that that's beautiful to know because again now as South Africans we're looking at you potentially going to go on to be a global champion in the sports we all believe it's highly possible I know you believe it's possible and knowing all that knowing your story it just makes us want to fly the flag even higher for you and makes us want to get behind you I I don't understand the sport, barring the fact that two O's stand there and they clap each other. Okay, on slap fight, I do not go to the gym and get slapped around. I go to the gym and do your normal weight training, etc., etc. So you build your shoulders, hips, neck, all of that. So in my opinion, you can either take a slap or you can't take a slap. So we only get three slaps on fight night. The defender, so meaning the guy opposite the table taking the slap, he's not allowed to flinch. Sure. To move forward, back, sure. to bend... <laughs> He needs to stand right where he is. So from there, you normally get a noodle which you hold behind your back. You're only allowed to tense your neck muscles at the back, basically. So that makes your jaw lift. 
So your jaw needs to be in 90 degrees. You cannot hold it down or move ex uh, anything like that. The striker, which means the guy giving the slap, you need to aim specifically on the jaw. So you're not allowed to hit higher than the eye level, lower than the jaw or on the ear. So you got a centimeter not to eat out. If I can explain it's a that. Small right. margin, man. So, no and then on that, you're not allowed to bend your arm. You're not allowed to palm strike, and you're also not allowed to use your hip, meaning your feet lift or step. So your feet need to be stationed down, and you only need to use weight transition, twisting, and then a proper slap. Let, let's be honest. There's a lot that can go wrong. If you were to hit me now, Donnie, at your full force like this, what do you think would happen to me? Uh, I think you would go to holiday in <laughs> Thailand and enjoy it and come back <laughs> still with all your money in your pocket. You would enjoy it. How are you feeling, Matt? Uh, I'm incredibly nervous. Um, I actually want to check my watch and to see my heart rate. You can set your heart rate to discovery and they can actually see you've been training. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm getting this idea from Jude. Like, you move on, man. Let's get this over with. It's this distinct feeling that I feel for him. So, Donnie, you're about to get in position. Jude looks genuinely terrified. Yeah, yeah. Donnie, over to you, man. Go into da, position. Da, da. Yeah. Da, da. Donnie is walking <laughs> over to Jude from there. His on arm three. against. Go. On three. On three. Not on go. Jude no. shoulder. Okay. okay. Okay, so this will be. One. One. He goes for two. Two. Don't swear, don't swear, don't swear, don't swear. Oh, Jude van Veek. Are you all right, buddy? He's cowered over. He's, is that a laugh or a cry? Oh, no. Luckily, you're right ended. it. That was worse than I thought. Louder than I thought. <laughs> well, that's, that's the first time of doing it on arms. Hands. Huh? They're shaking hands. Oh, my Jude is laughing just as much as he is almost crying. It's it, So, the initial feeling is of, it's like... What happened to my arm? Uh, <laughs> I can't. I can't feel it. Sheesh. Um, let me try and move Look it. Look at the mark. It is moving. Is there a mark? Yeah. It is, what do you mean? Is there a mark? Of course there is. <laughs> it's a trophy. Get the <laughs> tattoo in your hand. There should be a mouse. What do you mean a mark? <laughs> it's growing. It's growing. It's getting bigger and bigger. Ah, uh, that's 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 gonna be Dax. a bruise. <laughs> how, did, how did that? How was that? Hey. Um. So. The, the countdown is very nerve-wracking. It's like they're going to the top of a roller coaster, I imagine. Yes, exactly. And then on the third one, you're thinking to yourself, what if I agree to? Yeah, <laughs> I don't get and paid enough to do this. When, when there's contact, uh, like it literally feels like uh, there's, your arm disappears and then the pain kicks in like three, three the seconds of, of pain. Down. Yeah. Sheesh, mate. There was a second there after that happened that I was like, oh, Nick, this was a dumb idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I, remember, I wanted to carry Jude. I was just like, oh my gosh. It's, it, it feels like someone's tattooing my bone. Yes. Oh my yes. God. As a man who's quite inked, Jude will yeah. say that with sincerity. Donny, I'm so thrilled that you did that. You're an absolute legend. <laughs> well, at least you've got my signature on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> it will disappear after a while. This is Five.